Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, welcome to the channel Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day In today's video, we'll be reacting to a scary Moto2 crash um, So stay tuned, we're gonna get started with that video in just a couple of minutes For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel in this video for the first time I would like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel I upload videos every day So if you, if you guys uh, like the content as well as the channel want to be part of this journey Then please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on So you're notified when a new video is uploaded Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back Welcome back guys, we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end and with that said, let's get started with our video. Oh, high side for the world championship leader and that's a dangerous, dangerous place to be crashing. Please get out of the circuit, look at all these runners. Oh, goodness oh, me, goodness me, it's exactly what you don't wanna see. Oh Bashing no! In he knows. He knew he, he's going to be absolutely gutted. Crest for them. Wow, that was bad. Couldn't see who it was who made contact with Bastian in his bike. This is going to be a red flag. The red flag is out. That is a completely destroyed motorcycle. We saw that very, very close wow. here one year ago with Remy Gardner and Alex Marquez, didn't we? A rider that high size lose the rear coming out of the first corner. That can happen. It was Bastian in that lost the rear. The red flag is out. That was horrific, and that is the problem with that corner as you come oh. out and you high side the bike in the middle of yeah. the circuit because people can't that see it because of the, the they're coming over the crest. Oh, Bastian oh, knew exactly oh, what was coming. As soon as he got to his feet and knew he wasn't going to be hit himself, he was just like looking, going, please, please, no, nobody make contact with the bike. There is the red flag then. Simon. Yeah, guys, I think uh, you can see over that crest. The problem is if you're slipstreaming someone else, you, then you, you just don't see. They dive out of the way, wow. and then there's a bike on the floor in front of you. Edgar Pons was one of the riders that was caught up in that incident there on the number 57 machine. That's one of the Honda Team Major riders as well. So there's more than one rider that has been caught up in that incident involving Inea Bastianini. Horrific accident, that one. Really, really bad. I'm wondering, I think Hafi Siren was involved in that as well. I'm not sure if it was his bike. Wow. If, I'm not sure if it was him that hit Bastianini's stricken bike. But uh, no surprise to see the red flag. But now Bastianini's perfectly fine despite that. Yeah, he's going to be devastated. Sight. He's going to be absolutely wow. mortified. The last thing that he wanted to do was cause a multi-rider pilot like that. It's so easy to do when you're trying to squeeze that power on to get the drive out of that corner. You know, Bastianini was struggling for pace at that stage of race as well. He'd been passed by Betsecki and could see him getting away. He was under pressure from Kinnett as well, just perhaps a little bit too eager. There Look as at well. Hafi Siren's bike. And Andy is the Haas machine. Just the impact was scary. And now Bastianini bikes high side. I mean, Point one, he does well to avoid not to get taken out. Then, unfortunately, a rider's going to clatter into an Aya Bastianini's bike. Yeah, and with it, like, like Simon said, your vision's blocked. Look how close Remy Gardner is. He, he's not going to be able to see much of that. And then the riders behind can pick their way through. Roberts did so. Baldessari did. That one hundred percent. All riders conscious. That's the best outcome you could possibly have because that, look, you can it, see that, that young man there just cannot believe what he's witnessing. He's wow. just seeing riders crash into his fallen oh, motorcycle. There's nothing Bastion can do. Wow, Spalma, that was a pretty bad accident. The poor guy slipped, I think. He was trying to take the turn pretty sharp and um, skidded himself on the road and the other bikers that were coming, most of them kind of got away. The ones that could actually see, but then there was like a little bit of a blind spot for some of them because they were so close to each other. So the front ones keep going around them, but the ones that were behind them, they didn't have enough of a reaction time. And one of the guys hit it and I, the impact was so hard. I think the front of his bike, like the wheel, part of the wheel, like with the thing with the piece that holds it, like it just broke off. So the bike turned into two pieces. Uh, but I think, alhamdulillah, they're at least good that they weren't injured. And good thing was that nobody ran into him with their bikes. Um, so it, it is pretty scary. Uh, it's just uh, amazing, alhamdulillah, that, uh, you know, it wasn't so bad. It, it was pretty bad, but it could have always been uh, worse. So really, really uh, scary, guys. Uh, alhamdulillah that everybody's uh, good. If you guys um, liked uh, watching it and, and seeing this crazy crash, 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want me to check out another video, please put in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much, guys, for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. What's the name?